The next date for which you have to decide whether bond X trades cum interest or X interest is 15 August 2012. So I'm going to write that up here. 15 August 2012. The coupon payment date, 31st of March and 30 September. So you have to decide what will be the previous coupon payment date, the date preceding the 15th of August 2012. So that will be the 31st of March 2012. And then the next coupon payment date will be 30 September 2012. The register closing date preceding the next coupon payment date will be one month before the 30th of September, so the 31st of August 2012. And the transaction date will therefore be, be will therefore be before the register closing date, the 15th of August. That is the transaction date. So, who owned this bond on the register closing date? The bond traded on the 15th of August 2012. Therefore, on the register closing date, which is the 31st, it belonged to the buyer. Therefore, who will receive the full coupon on the next coupon payment date? The full coupon from the 31st of March until the 30th of September will go to the buyer because the buyer's name will be in the register. It belonged to him on the register closing date. But is that fair that he receives all of this interest? No, it's not fair because from the 31st of March until the 15th of August, this bond belonged to the seller. And that is a period of 137 days. So therefore, from 31st of March 2012 until 15 August 2012, the transaction date, it belonged to the seller. And therefore the seller has to be compensated for this period. He has to receive the interest for this period of 137 days. Now how will he be compensated? What will happen is that the accrued interest will be added to the clean price. Therefore, the only price would be equal to the clean price plus accrued interest. And then we say that this bond trades cum interest. The interest, the accrued interest is added to the clean price. So to complete the table, you have to indicate that on the 15th of August 2012, this bond traded cum interest, and the period for which you have to calculate accrued interest is from the 31st of March 2012 until the transaction date, 15 August 2012.